Hello there, this is Aubrey, your newly certified physician assistant, and welcome back to my pre-PA FAQ question type series. So today's question is, what is a competitive GPA for PA school? And that's a really good question, but also really hard to answer because every school kind of looks at things differently. And some schools are super GPA heavy and they say, if you don't have a 3.7 or whatever, we won't even look at your application. But a good amount of schools are more, more holistic with how they view your application. So say your GPA is on the lower end, but you have like thousands of hours, really good experience, like just a lot of volunteering, anything like that. Some schools will kind of say, okay, they have a lot of experience. Sure, their GPA isn't maybe as competitive as somebody else but they have a lot of life experience that's really hard to get and it takes a years to get and that will make them a great PA student and PA in the future so it's hard to say. Generally a good amount of schools do have a cutoff at 3.0 so I would always recommend to have at least a 3.0 even if schools some of them my school actually didn't have a minimum. It was like a recommended 3.0 and above, but that's from what I saw few and far between. Majority of schools have a 3.0, usually overall and science GPA requirement. Um, so no matter what, at the bare minimum, I say at least get that 3.0. In terms of competitive, it depends who you ask. Um, I feel like everybody says kind of every something different. Um, I'm, once again, it depends on the school, but from what I've seen, a 3.5 and higher is generally competitive at a good amount of schools. And another way you can tell whether you're competitive at a specific school or not is a good amount of them on their website will have um, statistics from past classes, and they usually will put like the average GPAs. And so on that, they'll also put like average, like number of hours they got, um, kind of their baseline statistics of their matriculated class. So that's a good place to go and kind of compare your stats. I wouldn't say if you don't have those, that means you're not gonna get in, um, but it's just kind of a good idea to see generally what the class kind of has and what they're looking for. So it's just another tool. Like I said, don't get really butthurt if your GPA is below that. As long as you meet their minimums, you still are able to be considered. Um, but at least you know if the school on there, their average is like a 3.7 and you have a 3.2. Um, you know, maybe see if they look more holistically. If they don't, maybe that's not a school you want to apply to. So it's kind of up to you and how you want to spend your time and money. Because um, I think that's a big mistake that a lot of people make is applying to schools that don't really fit them, their application, who they are as a like person. Um, so I think that's a huge factor that plays into it. And if your GPA does it match what they're really looking for, then it's up to you whether or not you feel like it's worth your time and money to apply to that program. So long story short, GPA is not everything. Your application has so many other factors to it, but obviously it is important. They wanna make sure that you can survive through PA school. So I'd say bare minimum, get a 3.0, shoot for a 3.5 and above and everything. And a lot of schools like to see an upward trend. So if you graduate and you have like a 3.3 and you kind of wanna still boost that GPA, I would say if you plan on taking a gap year, this is a great time to take some college courses, maybe at a community college or something online if some of the schools accept that and just help boost that GPA to kind of show an upward trend and show that even after you graduated, you're still trying to improve not just your application, but also your knowledge in a lot of the basic courses, maybe chemistry you're retaking or OCHEM or adding an additional science course that you didn't take while you were an undergrad. Um, so that's a good way to boost your GPA and also be a little bit more competitive. Just remember, GPA isn't everything, so don't get really down on yourself if your GPA is on the lower end. But I would say if it's below a 3.0, you should probably just spend some time and kind of boost that as much as you can before applying um, because a lot of schools won't look at your application unless you have above a 3.0. But all right, that was all about GPA. If you have any more questions or want to request a video of anything, you can make a comment down below on this video or you can message me or comment on my Instagram post. Um, my Instagram is at whitecoatchasing. I have a lot of information there too. Um, so just let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful.